Unobtainium. Shalom, shalom, welcome to Zentrum Music. Uh, this video is about Unobtainium. It was a uh, compound or element in the movie Avatar. And I want to break some actual spiritual knowledge based upon what was in the movie because we know that they put truth within the movies. And so the Unobtainium is literally, break. if you break the word down, it's unobtainable. You cannot attain this element. So they called it the Unobtainium. Right. And in the movie, so this is the element here. And in the movie, there's like a tree. So we can actually, we'll, we'll do a search for this. Avatar. Uh... Right. Okay. So in the movie, in Avatar, there's a huge tree. Um, and underneath the tree is the unobtainium, like deposits. If I can uh, get the, doesn't really seem to show the image here. Also, well, this is fine. This is a, an image of them destroying it. So, th there's a tree in Avatar. It's the biggest tree, obviously, the largest tree, and underneath the soil or the ground or whatever is the unobtainium. And it's funny that it's called unobtainium because even in the movie, as they were destroying the, even the tree and they were knocking down the some of the forest. Um, they never mined this unobtainium, right? They never got to the thing that they were after that was supposed to set them free or basically it was like a compound in the universe. You could do anything with it. Maybe you could travel super fast. You could go here, do this, do whatever. It was like this ultimate element, right? Again, called the unobtainium. They couldn't get it. So what does it all spiritually mean and what does it all represent? It actually means... It's a reference to the life of where people put their focus in this life. And so most people in this life are not cultivating the things that will are eternal, that are for your spirit and your soul after you transcend your body. So they're not focused on that. They're focused on, um, in this movie, of course, they're focused on getting this source. And that's why they're bringing upon destruction because they're greedy. And that's basically about riches and I'm trying to get this unobtainium. But in the, uh, retrospect or the, the reality of our reality of people and humans, our children, uh, souls of the creator, people have been lied to by the devil. And so in, in, this, in this reality in life, the devil is the master of illusion. So he makes you feel like you can get the things that you want. But the funny thing is when people are chasing the money, the fortune, the fame, the fans, right? The items, the things, they're not, they're not even chasing family and friends because even family and friends you can't take with you when you pass through the body. But people want, they're chasing money. They're chasing greed. They're chasing all these negative things. And in spirituality at the end of, you know, of, of our lives, you know, the negatives can be forever too. Like, shame is forever you know as the scripture talks about the people that don't worship him will be put to everlasting shame so shame is forever you can have that you can have the the bad things forever or you can have the good things which are love right you can have peace you can have uh, wisdom knowledge and understanding solomon talks about that right searching for wisdom knowledge and understanding search for her right those things are forever and that's what we should be reaching for. We shouldn't be reaching for things that are just material items. Shouldn't be reaching for money. Shouldn't be reaching for fortune and fame. Because again, Satan is a, a wonderful illusionist. He'll give you the fame. He'll give you the money. But at what cost is that? Your soul? Because when you pass and transcend, you're just like the, the rest of them when you realize, oh, you made a huge mistake. After you pass the body, you know you effed, you screwed up. You effed up bad. You effed up bad. Right? So focus on spiritual things. That's why the scripture talks about focus on things that are above. Because the things that are above are forever. And the things, the qualities like love is the first thing. That's forever. Focus on that. That should be a focal point. Should be about um, charity, right? The, the virtues, right? Diligence, temperance. These things are forever. But you focus on greed. You focus on fortune and fame. You focus on... I, I want the clickbait. I want this and that. You're gonna um, you're gonna be put to shame. 
And it was something that you could never attain, meaning that it was the unobtainium. The greed and the fortune and fame was the unobtainium. You couldn't, you're not taking that with you. You're not taking anything with you. You're not taking the billions of dollars you have. It's the unobtainium. The thing that you cannot attain. The thing that you can't take. <laughs> this is deep. Avatar is an amazing movie. I love the movie. I just watched it yesterday. Or actually, it took me a couple days because it's like a, I watched a three hour. Um, I couldn't finish the movie, but amazing movie, man. Um, deep movie. And the connection, they're teaching you about the connection to the, the earth. The connection to all energy. Everything's connected. And it's truth. That's spiritual. So only the spiritual people understand that. Deep. So the question is, are you reaching for unobtainium? Or are you reaching for the things that are attainable that are forever and will be in the right path? We're not talking about the things that are forever in the evil thing because you can be put to shame forever. Right? So it's best to be loved forever and loving forever. Correct? So this is food for thought, zenternal music, unobtainium. What are you chasing? You know, where's your soul going in this life? Your spirit, where, where is it going? Because all of this stuff is fleeting. Babylon is falling, is falling. Real talk. Shalom, shalom. This is Zen Turner Music. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, I also just started a Patreon. Um, I'm going to be uh, updating that and add some tears. And I'm probably going to take some of my videos off and throw them on the Patreon. Uh, because some of the videos I've done are actually more pretty special and actually people should be paying for that instead of just using ads to earn a few pennies here and there. I don't have time for that I need to get paid properly for the content that I share so again like comment subscribe this is Zentral Music subscribe to my patreon I'm gonna put the patreon in the link below and um, we're gonna start this movement and journey together with all the righteous again the Zentral Music tree of life let's go Shalom, shalom, salam, and salam.